Introducing the all-new Hivevader Wireless Site Survey Kit. Supporting virtually any vendor's wireless access points, our kit is the best on the market. To begin setup, start by laying your case down gently. Next, open the case by squeezing the latches and lifting the top lid. Remove the stabilizer legs, poles, mounting bracket, ethernet cable, and any other tools you'll require for your survey. You will find easy to use pluck foam within the case, which allows you to customize the interior of your kit and make cutouts to accommodate your essential tools. Connect the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter plug into the receptacle on the battery. It's time to power up. Press and hold the button until the indicator lights on the battery come on. Check the small indicator lights on the power pack chassis below the battery to ensure that the PoE injector has power. The PoE Plus power pack light is a single one on the right. The PoE Plus Plus light guide is a pair of lights. The lights may be faint. You can also do a quick check by connecting the wireless AP to the data slash PoE outport on the top of the case. While the case is on its back, connect the two stabilizing legs. Loosen the clamp all the way, line up the locking mechanisms, and tighten. The tightening knobs should be facing inwards. Extend the legs out and stand the case up. If you have purchased an optional set of case string wheels, connect the wheels to the stabilizing legs. Push each wheel into the end of the respective stabilizing leg by pressing the button on the side of the wheel. Release the button and lock the wheels on the stabilizing leg. Lock the wheels by pushing the clamp down. To unlock the wheel, pull up on the wheel clamp. Connect the AP mounting bracket to the top extension pole with the tripod thread. Make sure to not over tighten while attaching the AP bracket to the pole. There is a knob locking mechanism to keep it front facing. Connect the remaining poles. Take care to correctly align the poles to prevent damage to the metal threads. Unscrew the cap at the top of the case and screw in the lower pole assembly. The data in port is used for connecting to a 4G slash 5G portable router or another data source. The data out port is used for the included braided ethernet cable to connect to your Wi-Fi AP. This port provides power PoE and data. Mount your AP to the bracket using a T-bar rail mount that is compatible with your AP. A 90 degree swivel allows positioning for ceiling or wall mount deployments and stiffer rigidity for heavier APs. Align the bracket to face the front and use the bracket tightening knob. Utilize the mini ball head on top of the bracket for mounting a GoPro or a 360 cam. This allows you to take a bird's eye view time lapse of your Wi-Fi survey engagement to showcase your work. Twist the lock to give your camera the best angle, then screw it back and keep it stable. Connect one end of your ethernet cable to the ethernet port labeled PoE plus and data out. Connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to a port on the AP that takes the PoE Plus input. Your wireless AP should light up as soon as the two ends of the Ethernet cables are plugged in securely. Loosen the pole's extension locking mechanism and expand the poles to the height you want. Tighten it when you have the desired height. Secure your Ethernet cable to the pole with the provided Velcro strap. This prevents it from accidental snagging. The wireless site survey kit can get up to 12 feet or 365.7 centimeters in height by fully expanding all three poles. Take care when mounting very heavy APs to the fully extended poles. We have tested the stability with APs weighing seven pounds. Make sure to use the retractable handle as the primary point of leverage to maneuver the case and not the carbon fiber pole. The complimentary repair kit included in your Hive Freighter WSSK V3 can help you complete minor repairs and tweaks to your kit. Hex keys can be used to tighten the screws. 
the O-rings on the top of the highest extension pole with the tripod thread can be replaced. Finally, grease is used for the threads for a seamless pole-to-pole -pole connection. The Hive Raider WSSK V3 is airline friendly and meets the carry-on dimensions specified by most major airlines. It is extremely portable and using the integrated retractable handle allows you to effortlessly wheel and maneuver the kit. If you decide to check in your wireless site survey kit, as it is a safety issue, the included battery must always be part of your carry-on when using air travel. The battery meets the carry-on guidelines as outlined by TSA, FAA, and IATA. The battery is less than 100 watt hour to be airline carry-on compliant. The kit is water resistant when closed and all the connection points are capped. The compact design allows you to tuck away your gear neatly at the end of the day. Don't forget to unplug your kit and ensure that the battery is switched off when you finish and pack up for the day. Thank you for purchasing the world's best wireless site survey kit. Happy surveying from the Hive Radar team.